Welcome to my YouTube channel MK Medi Guide Lectures Learning with Artworks like Drawing and Calligraphy. In this video, we will talk about the first fast metabolism or the first fast effect. Well, the first fast metabolism is also known as free systemic metabolism. First fast metabolism is actually the biotransformation or metabolism of a drug before reaching the systemic circulation. Or it is the metabolism of a drug during its passage from the site of absorption and to the systemic circulation or simply the site of action. If we generally talk about the oral drugs okay for this here I'm drawing the oral cavity the esophagus then that is your stomach and after that we have the small intestine and then the large intestine right now if a drug is taken through the mouth and swallowed to the stomach some of the drug will be absorbed here into the blood vessels and some are transported to the small and then to the large intestine. Here the drug is absorbed throughout the GI tract into the blood vessels normally as the intestines provide large surface area for drug absorption. And only a fraction of the drug is eliminated as such from the body. This absorbed drug then transported via the portal vein to the liver and then to the heart and subsequently reached to the target organ or site. Now, in the case of the drugs that undergo fast, fast metabolism, generally it happens with those drugs that are taken orally for systemic effect. Remember that every drug used orally is not for systemic effect. For example, the intacids which react with stomach acids and neutralize it locally in the stomach. So, only those drugs are counted to undergo fast, fast metabolism that are taken orally for systemic effect. Now, if a drug is taken orally and starts its journey through the GI tract, so some substances are metabolized in the stomach, for example, ethanol which is metabolized by alcohol dehydrogenase. Some drugs are metabolized by the digestive enzymes, for example, the insulin, and that's why it is administered subcutaneously. Furthermore, some drugs are metabolized by the intestinal microbiota, for example, digoxin and aspirin, while most of the first fast metabolism of drugs is carried out by the microsomal or CYP enzymes present in the intestinal walls. Most of the drugs are metabolized by this system. After this, if a drug falls from here, then it must fall from the liver through the fodal vein. And thus, significant amount of a drug gets metabolized here mostly by the CYP enzymes. Drugs that are metabolized to some extent include phenobarbitone, tolbutamide, theophylline, and fendulol. While drugs that are intermediately metabolized include aspirin, metoprolol, nortreptiline, and pentazosin. In contrast, drugs that are highly metabolized are propranolol, 
virafamil, morphine, and salbutamol. While lidocaine, isoprenaline, hydrocortisone, and nitroglycerin are not given orally due to the high rate of fast fast metabolism. Now, how the first fast metabolism affects the drug pharmacological action? So, if we simply think of metabolism as a chemical alteration in the drug molecule, which usually leads to a fuller compound. Now, if this metabolism occurs in the intestinal lumen, for this, I'm drawing a section of small intestine here just for understanding. Then, after this metabolism, this drug cannot enter the blood circulation because as we know that polar drugs cannot cross the biological barriers in much concentration. And thus, that amount of drug remains the intestinal lumen and excreted in feces from the body or this chemical alteration leads to in an active product and thus the total drug molecules do not reach or reach the systemic circulation but in an active form. Now, if a drug first from here is such, then most of the drugs are subjected to metabolism in the liver and thus the drug is inactivated before reaching the systemic circulation. And now, if this metabolized mean follower or inactivated drug if reached to the systemic circulation, it won't have any pharmacological effect or excreted from the body readily through the kidneys or in the body. And thus, first fast metabolism by the intestines or the liver limits the bioavailability and consequently the efficacy and potency of many oral medications. In the same way, many drugs are given in large doses orally as compared to their parental or normal doses due to this first fast metabolism. And with this, thanks for watching and if you haven't subscribed to our channel, do subscribe and share it with your friends.